Hey everyone, welcome back again. We're working on the Camaro. Lots of Camaro content coming, and today we're gonna actually probably cut the front end off of this thing. So I got a rock solid Motorsports tube front end. I've been wanting to put this on the car for a long, long time. So we're gonna get this thing opened up, look at the tubes, and try to figure out exactly where we need to cut, and then remove the front end, and I guess there's no turning back after that. All right, so I think there's a bunch of bars in here, and plates, and all the things. So, yeah. I got the uh, entire kit which has the little bumper support in the front, the headlight brackets and everything in here. So we should have everything we need. So here's everything pulled out of the kit, the front nose bar, the uh, two down bars. What's nice is these already come welded on uh, with these uprights, which should go somewhere like here. But I already cut this little triangular piece off. As you guys can see over here, it worked out great. But I'm actually gonna go ahead and delete this, so I'll have to come from this too. I'm more or less gonna build a little brace that comes from this piece here and ties back into the subframe on the car there. And then we have some other nice pieces here. These are the lower frame rail bars that will get cut off. Let's see, somewhere out and about here or something. Uh, and then once I cut that, it sit flat, but that gets welded in there and that more or less becomes the frame horn. And then we got the end of the frame there. Like I said, that's the uh, headlight brackets, and then this is for the front bumper, and those come over, I think, for the headlight as well. So pretty simple kit, but pretty simple as in it's going to be easy for me to install, not so easy if I had to bend everything and kind of, you know, more or less design it as I go. So it's really nice that, you know, Rock Solid puts this whole kit together, and you just pretty much hold it in place and weld it. So we found our headlights, and... So we're gonna get this set back on there so we can make a measurement. I found there's a PDF link to the product on Rock Solid's page that pulls up a whole PDF on the full instructions. And so we're kind of looking to cut here, here. It gives you the kind of lines on where to draw everything out. But there's a measurement you need to make before you pull everything off the front end. And so that's where we're putting stuff back on to measure stuff. Which, what it is, is it's a measurement from the shock tower up here to the headlight bracket. So we just need to make a mark here, there, kind of measure that so then we know exactly where to put this back on when we go to weld on the brackets on the new front end so then the headlights land in the same spot on the bumper. So we got both these on, we can kind of, oh perfect, so we can kind of get an idea based on that, that, and that, where we need to measure out to. So we'll uh, write this down, we'll save this measurement, and then we can move forward. So measuring from the shock tower to the little headlight bracket, we're right about 12 and 13 sixteenths out to uh, pretty much a little bracket that mounts to that, which that is actually missing on that side of the car. But hey, we got our measurement, got it wrote down. I'm putting it in the video so I don't forget. So starting to get it laid out pretty good. Uh, you come down straight here and then it just follows this contour that's kind of in this break of the body line. Comes over, comes right out there at that little angle. And then we're gonna come square across the frame rail here. Same on this side. We kind of got that little body line, we'll go straight up. Across the little break down to here, and then it gets cut right on the outside of these bolt holes here. Now that it's semi clean, maybe now my marker will write. Oh, look at that. Oh, yep, a little bit better. Oh, maybe not. The residual brake clean's probably hating it. Yeah. Give me enough information to at least cut, I guess. So I'll show you guys an easy way. You kind of sand until you see that little spot weld right there start popping, and then you can kind of tear off the metal around it, and then you go back and just sand it a little bit, and it'll come right off. It's kind of smooth there. Got a little in the body, but not bad. So that's all smoothed out, so now we can make our cut all the way through. So house out time no turning back as soon as we start here which i don't plan on it so let's uh get rid of this front end shall we Of my line. Whew. Well, 
There's the first main cut. We'll start cutting. I'll take a four inch cut off wheel and cut down through here. And then maybe I'll jump inside there and cut the frame rail with this. Uh, I don't like that you don't have as much control. Like we still ended up pretty square with that one. But uh, yeah, this works, I guess. Clean that up. Not, it doesn't take long to get this thing cut off. It'll be off there pretty fast. Uh, what it does say to do is get like a jack. So we'll have to grab our jack stuff to support the front end so it just doesn't fall off once you get done cutting. So we'll get that prepped here in just a minute once we get a little bit closer. I said there's not much that'll stop a four inch cutoff wheel so pretty much any lock or anything if you have one of these things as long as you don't care what you're cutting you pretty much cut through or get into just about anything with one of these deals Is gone. Front's out and bam. Woo -hoo. That looks weird. Yes, that does. <laughs> like I was saying, guys, we're going full send with this thing. Front end's gone. Tube the whole front end, lighten this thing up, and it's going to be badass. I can't wait. So that's a huge beginning for what's to come. I think that's pretty wild. Now we got all the room for activities. So then to get an idea how this would go, here's the pre-cut piece. It goes right like that. Man, that's nice. And then that comes down and ties onto there. And we got something about like that that would go onto the front end. It's pretty easy, actually. That's not bad at all. But what we're gonna do, like I said earlier, is I'm gonna trim this all back, ditch all the weight from here. So then off the back of this, I'll need to come up with a little bar that more or less ties it back into this subframe there so i can ditch all this which so just a little brace but we can still start right here with a big weld so it can kind of kind of hold that deal into place but if that's what you're doing that comes out real nice makes it real nice and easy to weld and then we're ready for all the things huh yep. just look at it look how nice so yeah we're getting that pretty well cut off then I'm going to bring it back to here, trim it, and then we'll probably uh, smooth it in or plate it or something. Try to finish it off a little bit nicer than that. But uh, got a few little cuts. There is some extra pieces in here, kind of layers and stuff. As you guys can see, Alex has been kind of cleaning up this edge here. And uh, this is from before where I had that exhaust and stuff, but you see that other layer. So I think I might try to come in here and trim this off. We'll grind some of this back, kind of smooth this whole little corner and then played it back right here or something, just like on the other side. So at least we're making some progress as far as that goes. Well, I think that's a solid stopping point for tonight, huh? Yep. It's a little smoky in the shop. Always hate leaving the shop. 
uh, you know, after we've been cutting and grinding all that stuff. So we're just gonna stop and clean up, make sure everything's good, so no, no fire start or whatever overnight. Well, everybody, we're back, day two. So we're gonna get the car down and start cutting the cowl out of it there. Uh, and see if we can finish up some of that stuff, get it cleaned up a little bit more before we take it over and start working on the chassis. So that's the plan for today is get that cowl cut out. After looking at some other cars, I think a lot of them leave this little corner. I'm not exactly sure why, but I'm gonna leave it for right now. Maybe it's felt breaks kind of this corner of the car. Uh, so that's the front flip, so it has some support there. Either way, so I think we're gonna kind of come up through here, cut all the way along the windshield, and then come down right here, and then back along. And then up underneath, it seems like everybody, if you fill in here, kind of figure out where it ties in. And it seems like right along here is a pretty common area, kind of right along the little firewall lip where everybody cuts. So I think that's gonna work. At least we'll start laying it out and see where everything kind of ends up being, but I think that's what we're going to start with. The battery working better today? A little bit. <laughs> For now? For now. That thing was dying quick yesterday. Yep. Trying to get it all cleaned up. He's just taking this lip down here, so we've got a nice smooth edge. And then this is that double edge here. It's kind of hard to see but uh, we're just knocking that down to where it's hopefully pretty smooth. Might take a hammer and kind of roll this edge too, but you won't see any of that anyway once the fenders are on, but just trying to clean, keep it clean. And this is my kind of plan of attack. Just cut kind of up here, bring it into the windshield, cut along the windshield, and then right here, kind of taper it in there, and then bring it down, and then just cut across that seam the whole way. We got the one half out that one wasn't too bad but there is an inner structure in here so we're actually going to try to drill out and remove those two little spot welds back there on the back and then this whole thing with this bracing should come out of here almost i think i got it it's hanging in there just a little bit it's just one little tiny little spot ta-da got it Now we got all the room for activities up in there. Just got to figure out how we're going to come clean it and stuff. We'll paint it back, finish up all that. But otherwise, now we can put an intake that comes all the way back to the back here. And also working on heads and the intake. Everything else will be so much easier. And we ditched all that weight. All right, everyone, I think that's going to be it. We got that all cleaned up a little bit more on this side. And same with underneath. And then same with over there. We just spent some time grinding and getting some of the paint off so when we get ready to weld so i think on the next video we're going to get this thing ready cleaned up and take it over to my dad's shop we'll talk more about what we're going to do with the roll cage in the next video so hit that subscribe button we'll see you next time